everyone, it's Katie here with Elliot and we have a package. So let's get started because I don't know how long my phone will take for. You never see this guy because he doesn't have a face up mostly. Um, but I thought he should be in this one since this girl is technically his crush. He likes her. So let's set him right here. Out of the way. Let's get to opening this. Now, <clears throat> this is from Ball Leaves. Um, I, it was in stock at Denver Doll. I'm not sure how long it was in stock for. I didn't ask. Um, now, the funny thing is, is that I had originally ordered a different doll for this character of Audra. Um, and that was over a year ago, but because of a bunch of just stuff um, that doll never happened basically so a year later oh I just ripped the box oh well a year later I have a doll leaves doll Now, the original doll that I had picked out, well, the original, original one that I wanted was a doll Zoe and Annie, but then they discontinued her, so poo on doll Zone for that. Um, otherwise, I love you, doll Zone. Uh, but anyways, the original, the second original one was supposed to be a doll leaves Ida on a doll Zone MSD girl body. The 42 centimeter one, whatever. But it didn't happen. So I was on Denver Doll looking around and I saw that they had an, they did have um, an Ida in stock, but it was on the old body. And so I was like, eh, yeah, I don't know. The old body's okay. Um, I mean, it's okay. I could probably live with it. But I would have really preferred the newer body. Ah! Ah! So. Oh my gosh, I got Butterfingers, people. So, you know, basic box. But anyways, um, nice pillow bubble wrap. So I, um, I was just like, I don't know. And then I got to looking at a doll below of it, caught my eye, and it was a doll leaves pepper. And she, there was like a bunch of her in stock. There was like um, one on the couple in the old body and, and then one on the new I don't remember what it's called. Dream body? Is it called the new dream body? I can't remember. I would have to look it up. And I got to looking at her face and there's really not a lot of um customer photos of her but I got to looking at her and I kind of got to looking at the Annie skull and comparing them with Ida too and in the end it not just because of the body but pepper one ounce so this is a pepper and this was nicely bubble wrapped too which that was nice safe so I'm gonna open the pillow and stop rambling 
And this is my first MSD. Well, technically he's an MSD, kind of in the in-between stage. But this is my first MSD, girl. And I'm, like, super excited for her because I've wanted an MSD for, like, ever. And, you know, it's the doll leaves thingy. But I want to look at it. So. It's been, like, forever since I've opened a doll, and I'm so excited. Oh, my gosh. So this says 01-27-2018 right there. So I'm guessing because of that, that she is, she was made in 2018 of January. Would that be correct to assume you think? I really like the, the trees and stuff. Ah, oh, it's a friggin' fairy in the little leaves. Has anyone ever noticed that? Oh, well, I haven't because I've never had a doll leaves. But look, it's so pretty. I love fairies. It's so pretty. I just want to, like, hang that up. Keep this. <clears throat> Sorry, I got excited. Okay, okay. I got to I don't know how long my phone is. Memory is going to last. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, so pillow, doll. Head that is not on it. Okay. Whatever. I, I'll just string her. Little feetsies. And I did really want the doll's own body. Because it is technically, it's, it's just a better posing body. But this one's close to it and I am going to play around with it and get my own opinion of it too so but this is a really pretty body and it's a lot cheaper wow that wrist is not bending at all That wrist does not bend. Sorry, guys. I've never had wrists that, like, didn't bend. I've always had, like, good wrists with mobility. Anyway. But she can slouch. We have a sloucher. And she can... Not really been back, but she could if she was slated, I guess. Now I've heard people complain that she can't swivel on her leg. Uh, she's swiveling it. I mean, it's not like flush, but she's swiveling. I will do my own review on it and my thoughts. Let's get to the head. I want to see her head. I wonder why they didn't put her head on. She would have fit. Oh, and they actually gave her eyes. She already has eyes. They're pretty eyes, though. Let's put her head on. Ah. There's the little DS stamp. But you can't see cramp. Yeah. Oh. Okay, hold on. I have to go get something to
Do they normally not attach the heads on doll leaves? People who have has had a doll leaves at the sun that's shining through the windows bugging me. Does anyone know? I sure don't. Any of your video I've watched where um someone's opened them, they've always had their head attached. Elastic is like so thick that if the S hook won't actually nestle in the tiny little grooves for it. She is in the white resin. I did not say that. I don't know if she's staying or not. <laughs> she stands out of the box. I love it when dolls stand. You guys don't even know. It's my very first doll. <sighs> loved, loved, loved the sculpt, but she, she could not stand worth anything and it made me so sad okay give me just a second i'm gonna go get her eyes be right back okay i'm back I'm sitting there looking all around for her eyes and i started freaking out because i thought oh my god somehow they've been thrown away and no they were right here beside of me this entire time so yeah it's my intelligence for So I got these for her from Living Jelly Shop. And they are like Elliot's. Elliot's. Um, they're exactly like Elliot's because they both have, they're not related in any way. You know, because he obviously has a crush on her. And you know, if you're into your relatives, it's okay. I'm not judging. But they're not related. Um, and they have a virus. Now, they are actually from a completely different story than Sorka's. Um, that's my little pirate girl that I've been working on. However, because I'm work, I'm going, I'm basically going to use them for her story too, and just, they're still gonna be named the same. Elliot and Audra. Um, I'm just gonna kind of twist, you know, how they got the virus, you know, that kind of thing. Ooh, that's all stringy, buddy. They're pretty for acrylic eyes. Pupils. 
circle is way bigger than mine. I'm totally so wrong. That's what I'm thinking about doing with my Amberlynn doll that I just got a face up for is making her basically have a alter ego so she can play a part in Sorka's story. Oh my god, this putty is like bubble gum. This, I don't like it. I should have got my other putty. So, I don't like this putty, people. I don't like it at all. Okay, let me get these eyes out and this putty because it's like bubble gum ish. When I don't like it. So, it's going to take me a hot minute. <laughs> Give me a minute. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Her eyes are still a little wonky, but I'll fix that later. I didn't really feel like keep fighting with it. Because I'm lazy like that. But I'll fix it later. Whatever. And I'll be fixing it with the other putty I have. Just so you know. So let's get this chick some clothes on. I finally get to dress a doll up. Oh, well, one with like an actual wardrobe. And I was actually about to sell these clothes. I actually posted them on um, Instagram. That's the word I'm looking for. And uh, but I ended up not, obviously. I was going to sell them because I didn't think I was ever going to get, you know, the Audrey character and I could use the money for something else. But, lo and behold, I have, I have her. I have her. Uh, what do I want to put her in? I'm just going to put her in this real quick. And these clothes are from um, Starshine Design. So, ooh, they're nice. But back to what I was talking about, the um, alter ego thing. Um, she's still gonna be Audra. He's still gonna be Elliot. It's just, like, from the, her actual story, like, who she, you know, actually is, um, she's not going to be that girl. She will retain certain traits, like, um, like, I'm not going to completely change her personality and stuff like that. Um, I'm just going to change, like, like, aspects of how she got her virus and her shiny and um and in Sorka's so story um she she's gonna be an elf um so yeah and I may get her a different wig Audra in um, her story, she has like red hair. Well, she dyes her hair, so it's more like a fake red hair. Um, but she, is this gonna go over your butt check? 
I don't know. These shorts don't really give. But, um, I'm thinking about getting her a different wig just to kind of, like, show the difference, like, when I do pictures and, you know, whenever I do start the photo story. So, when she's in her red wig or something, she is Audra Audra. And when she is in the other wig, going on on her butt already. She will be Pirate Audra. I don't know if these shorts will fit her. At least, maybe not with the leggings on. Slowly but surely. Slowly but surely. Oh, there they go. Can't sit too great in them, but whatever. She can stand, baby. I don't know if I like all that purple on purple, though. I think it should have been black. Or just a different thing all together. These clothes are like for her character and her actual story, um, which is untitled right now. It's just called Ghoul. Um, because what it is is she has a virus that is. <sighs> she's not a zombie. Um, this virus has overtaken the United States. It's decimated it. You know, they've, the world's been through World War Three, um, all that good stuff. Get your hand in here. And so they're left in like the rundown post apocalyptic type thing. <laughs> They're kind of like and the infected ones with this virus. Um, they can change others by biting, you know, anything that involves other fluids. Nasty nasties, um, kisses. No, anything like that. Not scratching. Um, you know, it has to be something that involves, like, an actual fluid. Sorry, I'm trying to get her hand through this. Because I'm not taking her hands off to get this on. And the infected, they are, they are put into ghettos, like concentration type, sealed off parts of the city, um, away from the non-infected. And Audra, in that story, you know, she's, she's, she's bitter. And she has a reason to be because of how she, how she was turned and everything else. And it's just, she feels betrayed. And so, yeah. And they're with her and, you know, like. Where she in the dorm she lives, the school she has to attend, 
the medical hospital she's at, the ghetto she lives in, you know, there is Elliot. And, you know, she's not friends with him. She is friends with no one and does not want to be friends with anyone. She sticks to herself and does her job because they also make the infected, whether they are underage or not, have jobs. So... You know, she gives the doctors, you know, crap when they bring her in to have her um, weekly infusion of good blood and have her old blood siphoned out. And she, um, and when they make her eat a brain from a still living person so she's not too awful thrilled about any of that and it does make her physically sick like not just like oh this is just disgusting why am I having to do this but it leaves her like physically sick and And so, basically, there's, like, starts, like, a whole conspiracy. This girl, she comes to Elliot because her boyfriend, who's also infected, goes missing. And how am I supposed to go on here? Not like that. Goes missing, and the girl, the non infected girl, she wants to find him, and somehow Audra gets, you know, she gets roped into the whole thing and grudgingly has to help them. And that's when the whole big conspiracy of what's really going on is found out. And. You know, there's general butt kicking and stuff like that. This is a very fluffy wig. I have to play with that. I've had this wig for this character for like a year. There. Two, like two years, probably. Because I, like I said, I'd been meaning to get the Annie skull, but I never did. So now we have Pepper. Doll leaves Pepper. Wow, this wig is just all over the place. Probably because it's been in storage for so long. So I'll probably have to play with that to find some kind of look that works for her. Maybe that. That might work. And I will end up changing her out of the leggings because I do think it's too much purple on purple. Or just take these shorts off. They're so hard to get off though. Because they're not stretchy. But yeah, and um, her character and Sorka's is just very, pretty much just like a filler character. They'll still have their parts, though, in it. Um, but 
like she will be part of Sorka's crew on her ship, airship, and so will Elliot. I haven't gotten all that figured out though, so when I do, I'll let you know more about that. Her other character though, I do. And I'm, as soon as I get, there she is without the shorts. As soon as I get money saved up, um, I want to get her face up done. And his too, eventually, because they're not really a character until then, because they have intricate webbing of veins all over them from their virus. So yeah, this is the new girl, Pepper. And I really like this size, this MSD size. I like really love the MSD size. I just wish there was more masculine sculpts. Let's see if she'll stand again. <laughs> she stands. I'm so happy that she stands. This is really hard. Standing in all her glory. So yeah. Let's see how this is. Mr. Elliot. He is not as tall. She's tall because he's like fifty centimeters. I'm gonna have to measure her and like find out if she's really 40, 40 But I will be back with more stuff. Um, maybe play dress up with her. But I am happy with her. Very happy with her. Um, and I'm gonna go do stuffs. gonna have to get her another wig though this one's just way too poofy good temporary wig though okay I'm gonna go and thank you for watching and all that good stuff and Trying to see if I can show you her. There. Okay. I'm leaving now. Bye.